happy February! By the time you guys watch this, it will be February, but it is currently January. <laughs> We are currently getting ready and we're gonna go to my sister's house to celebrate Chinese New Year. So we're literally preparing everything because we're cooking hot pot today. For all my non-Asian people watching this, hot pot is like the equivalent of like a Sunday roast. Like that is what Asian people cook. It's like a big pot of soup in the middle and then people just put in whatever they want. Guys, look at my scabs on my forehead. They have all peeled off now. I probably need to go back and have another session or even get lasered off, which is so annoying. Okay, what is in Hong's fridge? Oh, very empty. Three little oranges. Oh my god, look how old this pineapple is. It's literally got a mold all in between. That's disgusting. So we have all of our food ready and prepared. We've got two different types of broth, which is super, super tasty. Loads and loads of vegetables. Look at this whole plate, guys. It's just full of different types of mushrooms, loads of like tofu, and all of the noodles your heart desires. And of course, you can't forget broccoli. Yeah! Happy Chinese New Year, guys! I just got home. It is 11.30 in the evening. Look how oily I am. Oh my god, I've got a spot here. When did that spot just fall? What the hell? I've got a meet and greet on Friday. Let me just see how oily I am. Look at this paper, right? It's like my party trick. <sighs> now nah, that's disgusting. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, it's the next day now. And yesterday, when I took off my makeup, I literally looked at my skin and I was like, why have I got so many little like, spots underneath my skin? I had like these little white heads all on the sides of my face. And I was like, what the hell did I put on yesterday? Because I think I had an allergic reaction. But anyways, it is currently 2 p.m. And I haven't even done my skincare yet. So I thought I'll sit the camera down and we can have a little chit chat together. And I just need to get a few things off my chest, you know? I've got a spot patch here. Let's peel it off. Because I had a big ass white head here yesterday. Oh, look at this. Can you see all that white gunk in there? That's all the shit that it pulled out from all of these little white heads. I literally had a cluster of all these little bumps here. I know you guys are asking me, this is the Cosrx pimple patch. Whenever I have any spot that's brewing, I literally put this on overnight and it pulls out all the stuff and then your spot is flat by the morning. Anyways, let's get back to my story. So right now I feel like I am going to be starting my period or I should be in my period right now because I've been feeling so anxious i've been feeling so sad like, i feel like i want to cry and i feel like the only place i can escape is this freaking beauty room i feel like i'm gonna cry guys no don't cry there's just so many things going on at the moment i feel like i'm in quite a weird place it's like grand's birthday next month i feel a lot of pressure like i want to book something but it's a shit time of year guys like february and january is like not a good time of year for anything you have to go really really far to get anywhere that is like remotely sunny and then when you go further it's even more expensive and i'm in quite a good place financially in my life at the moment but i'm just always feeling so guilty oh my god why am i choking up ah i'm not gonna cry gather yourself bitch <sighs> Fuck. i've got my meet and greet in a few days and i'm just so nervous guys <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. Let me just compose myself. Okay, I'm back. No more crying, bitch. Anyways, I just want to tell you how I feel at the moment because you guys must be looking at me like, what the fuck has this bitch got to cry about? I just feel so much pressure at the moment because I have my meet and greet on Friday and I'm so nervous that people might not show up. People might expect more from me that I can't deliver. <laughs> The crazy thing about the meeting group Friday is that it's actually sold out. It sold out twice. We added more tickets, it sold out again. And obviously that is amazing, but I'm still so scared that no one's gonna show up. I don't know why. I know it's like such first world problems. That's why I get annoyed at myself even more. Why do I get upset about something that's just such a stupid thing? Like there's people out there fucking dying and I'm here crying about a freaking meet and greet, you know? It's just such a stupid thing to cry about, but hopefully you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from. It's a lot of pressure, you know? I feel like you guys are like my therapist and I can just chat to you guys. I don't know, I feel like when I talk to you guys on these vlogs, I feel less alone, I don't know. This is not how this skincare session is meant to be, guys. It was meant to be a happy chit-chat. It ended up with me crying like a little bitch. <laughs> I've literally been wiping my damn face for like 20 minutes now. Anyways, this is exactly what I needed. I needed a good cry, you know? 
Anyways, guys, I'm going to go head off to work now. Um, I am going to go to the gym later, even though I really, really don't want to. I'm not in the mood for it. But yeah, maybe I'll catch up with you guys a bit later and update you guys on how the gym session went. Hopefully, I'll feel really proud of myself. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, guys, I made it to the gym. It was so weird driving again. I feel like I haven't drove for literally, like, months and months. But it wasn't too bad. I just feel really proud of myself. I can't believe I'm going by myself. I am dead. Oh, guys, that killed me in that work. This is my face when I'm doing a plank. When I was doing my stretches, guys, I literally felt the blood pumping in my brain. Hello, guys. I feel like I haven't vlogged all day today because I've been so busy working. But tomorrow is my meet and greet, which is such a special, special event. So I thought I would come on here and chat to you guys about how I get ready whenever I have a special event. So it's time to go to the mask drawer. We have to find a mask. Okay, so this is where I keep all of my skincare and this is where I put all my masks one day guys i need to actually go through all of these because there's so many masks that's actually dried out but my favorite mask whenever i have special events is this one i use this one so sparingly this is my fourth bottle of it it's so so expensive but i get it from cult beauty please excuse me i'm still in my sports bra earlier from the gym whenever i use this it just smells like nature when you think of the word organic that's what this smells like Okay, so I have my mask on. Also a little tip, whenever I do face masks, I never put the mask anywhere near here, my eyes. Otherwise, it will dry that bit out and then your highlight will go on really, really dry. Okay, I hope you guys can still see me, but I've done a little order from Ego Shoes and I had no idea, guys. They are now doing accessories. So on social media, everyone and their mama has been rocking this Prada bag and also rocking this Louis Vuitton bag. I'm going to insert photos here. And I wanted to find like the high street version of it and no brand was doing it, but I saw this on Ego Official. I wish it came in black. That would be like the most ideal. It's coming on sale at the moment for £25, which is really, really cute. You guys know when I like something, I need it in every single colour. I also got this in nude, which I actually really like this colour. I haven't got any bags like this kind of like tan shade. Then I also got in this really nice tan brown colour. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, I'm going to put a poll up here. Which colour do you guys prefer out of all of them? I can't decide. I feel like I like all of them. Also, of course, I had to pick up some shoes. It's basically like a little sock booty that goes all the way up to your thigh and it's like got crystals next up we're gonna shave our legs and shave our armpits she had laser hair removal done years and years ago but i had like ipl done but there's little patches that kind of grows back so i actually don't shave in the shower because otherwise i get such itchy legs so i found this device it's called flawless legs it's not sponsored or anything like that it is the most amazing thing because you can shave your legs dry so i do this before the shower looks a bit weird but you turn it on let me zoom in for you guys to see the truth. We get up close and personal, okay? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm up close and personal like this on YouTube. So I literally just go like this. It doesn't hurt at all. And then now it's fresh. It's really, really smooth. It doesn't hurt at all. It literally just feels like you're gliding on top of your skin. Okay, now let's move to the legs because that's a whole nother story. I'm not gonna lie, guys. My toes are hairy too, so I'm probably gonna have to shave that. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm gonna show you, but it's all about being 100% real in these vlogs. Hopefully that's why you guys are subscribed. And look. Look how long this hair is. Look. Nah. Nah, look how long that hair is coming out and look how dry my damn skin nah if you look from afar they don't really look hairy but when you see up close you're like oh damn girl these toes are hairy too literally just go up and down and it kind of traps all the hair inside here i have to shave my knees as well like who else has hairy knees okay so i'm finally out the shower wash my hair so my skin is super clean i actually have a spot coming right here i knew i'll start my period because the hormone acne is coming. So I have this little tool kit that I bought from Amazon and it has like loads of extraction tools. And I love anything like this that has like a little loop. And I basically got like this on my nose. See all that shit that comes out? Oh, can you see that? Okay, so now that I've done my nose, I'm gonna actually shave my face today. So I don't do this all the time, only whenever I have special events. Um, I'm gonna use this face shaver. It's from this brand here called Stacked Skincare. So a lot of people are scared that your hair will grow back thicker and stuff like that. I personally haven't noticed that. I basically hold my skin taut and then I'll go upwards and it just exfoliates any dead skin so that tomorrow my makeup's gonna go really, really smooth. Look at all this. Oh my God, look at all that dead skin okay i'm gonna put on a sheet mask now and so sheet masks basically give your skin a boost of hydration oh, oh it's so cold 
Oh, so cold! Put some deodorant because my armpits get stanky. My favourite deodorant is the Mitchum one. Okay, so I'm going to quickly put on a layer of fake tan. So I mainly put fake tan on my legs. Sometimes I do bring it on my upper chest, but it depends how tan I want to be. I don't actually want to be that dark. I just want like a nice golden glow. So I'm going to do like one thin layer of this. So if you guys can see, but it leaves your skin looking super, super olivey, which is really good. Okay, so I just fake turned my legs. Um, I just took my hair out of the towel. So I'm using these two products. They're from a brand called Colorwell. I love these two products so much. So I mix them together. This is the Dream Cocktail, which is for fine hair. And then this is the Dream Cocktail that's for breakage. And I literally just run this all throughout my hair, especially throughout the mid lengths and ends. Hello, guys. You haven't seen me in a long while. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I broke the rusty sand of the one with the footprint on it. <laughs> oh God. Don't get white, guys. We cannot look after it. So now I'm going to blow dry my hair roughly. I'm using my Dyson hair dryer. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see how much volume that cream gave me it literally gives me so much oomph and my hair is probably like 90 percent dry now and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sleep with these little rollers i have it in this little bag here but i got these rollers from primark but you can buy them on amazon it's called foam rollers and you want to get the thick ones because you want your hair to look really nice and glamorous if you get it too small it kind of looks a bit more ringlety okay so we have the hair whiz in the house I don't know about the hair whiz <laughs> i try i used to do bridal hair and i just like wing it every time and <laughs> i got money for it so i guess it works <laughs> <laughs> the key is if you want volume guys you have to pull it upright don't do like this mm -hmm. you have to do it upright because once the barrel goes all the way down the bottom here it hits it in this spot and then you want to leave it there can you see that indentation it'll give it a bit of volume and curve underneath it depends how you roll the hair it'll give you a different type of curl because we want to go for like the hollywood curl you want to roll it under the hair it won't give you a really tight curl it'll give you those hollywood waves so if you wanted a spiral curl you'll curl it in a different way but as you can see this is curled where the hair is literally just rolling under itself. So if you want a spiral curl, you'll curl it like this. So you'll be curling it like that, and then you... Oh my god, that's what it. I've been doing. When you do it like that, the curl will go more like ringlets. <gasps> if you want it more bouncy and loose, you curl it under each other. Now when you roll it, can you see it's like one straight line? Okay. The other one, it was going like this. And then you want it tight so that... It creates that indentation and it holds that volume. And what you want to do, can you see that it's lifted at the root here? So when you sleep on it at night time, and when you take it out instantly, it will automatically give that lift that you want. We are done. I'm actually going to be sleeping like this now. I have one more step that I do that is very important. I'm going to show you guys. This is the secret trick. So this is my secret weapon, guys. This is called a Faha. This is what I wore after my BBL. So if you ever get any type of liposuction, or anything like that you need to invest into a good faha i spent a hundred pounds on this bad boy i actually got it from ebay so it looks like this it's like a little corset and i just sleep in this and then when i wake up in the morning my belly is so flat my hips are wide my ass is fat and it kind of like takes away any water retention or anything like that and then also it has a little hole where the pussy is so when you need to go to the bathroom you literally just open up and there's a gaping hole there so guy has easy access I also really like it because the bum is still really nice and stretchy. The best £100 I've ever spent, guys. I'll see if I can find a link and I'll leave it down below. It has these little hooks on the side and then once you hook them in, you zip it up. It has a little cut out here on the bum so it doesn't constrict your bum. Okay, guys, so that's it for my evening routine. I know it sounds very long-winded, but this is what I do for, like, special, special events. I probably won't have time to film in the morning, so I'm going to see you guys tomorrow when I'm all glam and done up. Oh, my God, guys, I am finally ready. I woke up so late today, guys. I was so tired. I couldn't sleep until like 2.30 in the morning yesterday because I was so, so, so anxious about today. This is how the hair looks like literally as soon as I took out the rollers, I just brushed it out and I put hairspray on them. Guys, they're holding my light. And he keeps that angling, it's giving me all types of shadows. Oh my God, guys, we're here. Look how pretty it is. Ah! I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you.
that's more like it guys nice and cozy in my pajamas i just want to say thank you so much to every single person that came today it literally meant the world to me that you came supported me but i do have to say i don't know why this is a thing but when tickets are free people just like to get tickets and then they don't show up so i didn't meet the full amount of people that said they were gonna come but i still met like nearly 100 of you guys so that was still amazing so thank you so much for coming out on a friday evening and spending the start of your weekend with me i hope you have an amazing weekend ahead okay so now that i'm home i wanted to show you what actually came in the mail today which i'm so excited about next week we actually have a travel vlog coming up which I'm so excited about. We are going on our first ever ski trip and I was like, oh bitch, it's time to upgrade our equipment. So this is my new tech gear that I just invested in. I literally spent like 800 pounds so that I can make sure that my videos are the best quality that I can possibly afford right now. So first off, I'm gonna show this bad boy right here. I invested into a brand new GoPro. So the GoPro that me and Greg have at the moment is GoPro number four. This is number eight. There's been four generations since then. So I finally bit the bullet and I invested into a GoPro. GoPro is quite a weird camera because you only use it in certain situations, but when you need it, you need it, guys. It's basically like an action camera and especially because we're going skiing, this is going to come in so handy. So I want to show you guys this bad boy that I use at the moment. This is the Maverick 2 Pro Zoom. I have no idea. It has a funny long ass name. I've had this drone for like a year now and I've only flown it literally like twice or three times. It's kind of going to waste because we don't get to fly it that often. So I feel like I'm going to sell this drone, but I still did want a drone. So we ended up investing in a slightly cheaper drone. So I had to do so much research in the last couple of days and I ended up going for the DJI Maverick Mini. Got the Fly More pack, which basically comes with extra batteries and these little propeller guards so that you won't crash your drone. But look how small this is, guys. So this is the size difference comparison. Oh my God, this is so, so, so small. It's about the same size as an iPhone Pro Max. But basically basically with the drone laws a lot of the drones that are over 250 grams you have to register it but this bad boy is only 249 grams so it goes just underneath the legal limit so you don't have to register this drone you don't have to have a license to fly your little drone obviously you still need to use all your common senses and don't fly it near airports or anything like that this will give us a lot of freedom to fly our drone a bit more often whereas this one is so heavy duty that sometimes you need to have a pilot license to fly drones and you have to also register your drones in a lot of countries as well whereas this one you don't so i feel like we're gonna make a lot more use out of this bad boy okay guys so it's kind of like the end of the evening so i'm gonna say sayonara but tomorrow i'm actually gonna go and get new hair extensions put in my hair at the moment guys i feel like the bonds i have in my hair is not quite for me so if you guys have been following me around on these vlogs you basically will know that i had nano bonds put in at the start of this month i feel like they are amazing for people that have maybe like lighter hair but for me personally i have really, really dark black hair and i just found that over time while i washed my hair the beads started to turn a bit goldish and the black coating kind of flaked away so it left me with like loads of these gold little beads which the whole point of the nano Beads for me personally so that is really really discreet but i just found because i put my hair up a lot you could start to see the little gold beads underneath so yeah i wasn't too happy with that and also i feel like it was kind of like tugging at my hair a bit because i put my hair up in a bun so much so instead i'm gonna go and try tapes tomorrow because my friend cc actually really really recommended the tapes she said that she tried the bond and they were really good but she actually preferred the tapes because it feels a lot lighter on your hair she can still put her hair up so i was like okay i'm gonna try that thank you so much for coming today and shout out to the people who said hello to me as well guys so shy by the way when people come up to you he's like hello did it feel weird people come up to you recognizing you yeah really weird they don't <laughs> want to come to tweeze me and greet they want to come see me mate <laughs> isn't that the truth okay guys i'm spending my morning at muse of london okay guys so i'm at the salon now i have this lovely lady doing yeah. my hair today look at her beautiful hair guys i need hair like this so she's actually wearing beauty works extensions as well and they're also like the tapered extensions so we're going to be putting in these bad boys today these are 22 inch tapes these are the slimline tapes so they are super super thin and we're basically going to sandwich a bit of hair inside of here and these are actually longer than the bonds that i had so the bonds they only came in 20 inches these are 22 inches my hair is actually 22 inches already so this is going to match my hair perfectly and we can actually place these higher up in my hair so that i can get a lot of thickness at the top this quality of hair though is so nice it goes thick all the way down to the bottom as well which is actually really rare for extensions guys i'm getting layers put into my hair look ah, look at all of this length we just took off my fringe 
So I'm gonna show you how we put in the tape. So we just get a little thin piece of hair. It's literally like a sticker that goes on underneath. And then you just stick another piece of hair on top. And then they just clamp it to make sure it's completely shut. Oh my God, and it's so flat as well. Okay guys, look in the mirror. I literally feel like I have a wig on, guys. Oh, just got back in the car. Hello, who's this new gang? New haircut, who this? New hair, who this? I can do this to you. Do you love slapping your boyfriend's head when they first had a haircut? It's like so much neck, you know what I'm saying? It hurts, man. It sounds like ball bag slapping, like. <laughs> Hello, tea bag. Right to you, guys. So I am finally home now. But I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like with all of the hair in. I literally feel like I have so much hair. Something that I actually didn't expect is how flat these tapes are. I remember I had tapes before and it was nothing like this, guys. It was quite bulky at the top. And now I can see why these are called like slim line tapes because they are so, so slim. Can you even see it when I do that? I don't know. I'm going to see what it looks like when I tie my hair up. Oh my God, there's so much hair. Wow. She thick or whatever. Okay, can you see the tapes? Oh my God, they are so flat. Can you guys see any back here? I actually don't have any taped here, which is really good because I felt like with my bonds, whenever I worked out, I felt like a lot of my sweat was getting trapped here and it would always feel really, really itchy. And because these are 22 inches, it actually matches my hair exactly. The whole reason why we had to do the bonds before so low is because my hair was longer than the extension. Yeah, guys, obviously, like, this is my job. I'm a blogger. I get to try out a lot of these different methods of extensions and all these different faces and stuff like that and I can be honest with you guys if something worked for me or something didn't I'm gonna keep you guys updated about the hair I'm gonna sign off on the vlog now because I feel like it's getting long enough but I just want to say thank you so much again to every single one of you guys that came out to our meet and greet and even if you didn't come out to the meet and greet just you guys watching this video just means so so much to me like you guys will never know the impact that you have on my life and every day whenever I read through your comments and your dms and your messages it's just like oh what did I ever do to deserve this, you know? So yeah, guys, that's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week. Make sure you subscribe because next week we are off to Switzerland. My first ever ski holiday. So I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. And we're going to... But basically, I'm probably going to have to... Oh my God, where did that come from? How well do you think this workout went, guys? Hello, floppy willy alert. Good morning, guys. <sighs> Does everyone keep messaging me today? Just fuck off! It's actually really, really sparky. So this sparky? What's sparky? Oh, that's sparky. Spark, spark. <laughs> so you guys know in my couple... So, so I was shelling... Shelling you? What is shelling you mean? Oh, God, it's falling. It's like the leaning tower of peas up in this bitch. Guy's going out now, he's leaving me. I totally forgot that I was meant to be going to my bars for dinner. We just had dinner. Forever, fatty. The chin is just going to carry on growing. He's actually secretly going on another date with his mistress, but, you know. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Why have fish and chips when you got lobster at home? I'm definitely not lobster. I'm definitely a can of tuna. Fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish. Hopefully by next week, this spot will be gone. Do not attempt to pop a spot if it's not ready, because you end up with a volcano on your face. Yeah.